Hey there and welcome to Beautiful You TV. I was requested to do a neutral look using the Neutral Coastal Scents palette. And here's what I came up with. Uh, I really like this look because I guess tomorrow I'll be wearing that to work. Um, the request was uh, to use some brown colors and this was um, these are the colors that I've used. Um, actually here I mostly used Coastal Scents products so it's really a good makeup on a budget. Um, what else? Uh, I guess just follow the tutorial. So let's begin. Um, here on the picture you see the palette with the uh, eyeshadows that I'm going to use and I specially named them like one, two, three because uh, I wanted uh, you to understand which one I'll be using and in order not to waste my time uh, here's what you here's you see what I'm going to use um, so let's begin and first of all I'm taking Max 252 it's a really big brush and I'm applying the first color this pinkish color and I apply it to the highlight area now I'm uh, taking the second side of this brush and I am uh, taking color number two and I'm applying the whole lid with this color and right now you might not see the difference because it looks practically the same because the colors are really light but in the sun you would definitely see the difference okay since the color was more pale I can use the same brush in I am uh, taking the color number three and of course I'm going to use it to the outer corner uh, like the half of the lid so I'm just creating like a more darker shade like that and now with the same brush I'm uh, taking the color number four and to the same area I'm applying it here I also touch the crease and somehow start like very beautifully blending it because I don't want to be there I don't want a harsh line to be there here I'm following the crease as you can see just a little bit towards the uh, inner corner like that you can see it's really natural now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Makeup Stores 111 brush. It's really small. It's like um, Max 219. It's a little bit more smaller, but uh, they're practically the same. And I'm taking the color number 5. So what I'm doing is I'm following the lower lash line just up to create a shape of the eye. like that and I'm going towards the crease and just going on it like that you can practically see it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it more vivid and I'm just blending it with the same brush I'm applying more color where it's needed. So you can see two eyes start becoming very similar. It's very neutral, it's really nice and uh, I've tried it uh, today and it's definitely that I'm going to wear it tomorrow to work. So since I work as an investment consultant, um, I guess it will be a really nice makeup very soft and not that bright uh, usually the employer doesn't want to see 
very bright colors on their employees. Okay. Need to go a little bit down here. Like that. Uh, now I am taking the same 252 and applying this uh, fifth color and I start kind of like blending it towards the inner corner. If you want like a tone darker you can apply the uh, black color together with the um, fifth color but I am not going to do that because I like it the way it is. Okay, here I'm going to blend a little bit like that and I'm going to apply this uh, first color of the highlighter and here I'm going I'm doing this C stroke kind of because I want to soften the look uh, in order for the harsh line not to be that visible this is it uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the eyeliner and I'm using Isadora black eyeliner it's number 10 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the eyeliner just to the outer corner like that so here is the eyeliner now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the lash curler and I'm going to curl my lashes. Today I'm going to use um, Extra Black Mascara Smoky Lash by, by Makeup Forever. And I'm taking the excess color off. Excess mascara off because otherwise my lashes don't look too good because they stick together and I don't like that since I want the look to be very natural I prefer just to show that you know to give volume to my lashes but still leave them very soft like that since I'm a very emotional person I might sometimes cry during the day like when I see something very nice or cute or whatever sometimes I just you know I get sensitive uh, that's why on the lower lash line I'm going to use waterproof mascara and I'm using define a lash I really like this mascara because sometimes I don't like to give volume to my lashes I just want to make them like more visible like more black and this mascara is perfect Okay, that is it. Here is the neutral look using the neutral palette. Um, on my cheeks, I am wearing um, Max uh, Emote Matte Powder Blush. It's really nice, just like for creating those cheekbones. And and um, I'm using this blush by Coastal Scents. It's really beautiful with sparkles just to create like kind of a neutral orangey um, blush. Um, what else? I'm using of course on my lips the palette from Coastal Scents because I really adore it and I'm using uh, this color. It's really amazing. Like I totally love it. It's it's really great. I totally suggest it. Uh, that is it for the look. If you have any questions, suggestions whatsoever, please let me know. I wish you all the best. Uh, the results of the contest are going to be posted soon because I just didn't have enough time to to look through all of the answers and I really want to like pay attention to everything that I read. I don't want to spend like too few time. Anyways, um Thank you so much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I wish you all the best. Thank you, thank you, and...